Hey Jared, I saw your video. You have some pretty good stuff. I thought I'd share some of my stuff. I'm also a Nikon shooter. Um, let me see. I started photography, serious photography, six years ago when I was in 10th grade in high school. I went to the garage. My dad had this old Minolta SLR from the 80s that he had just laying around in the garage without use for 10 years. I put a roll of film in it. I took some shots and I was pretty amazed at the results. I especially like, you know, the focus, and the, the quality, the depth of field. This is um, a 50 millimeter 1.7 lens. So I was pretty amazed. I had never really used a camera like this before. We had been using just point and shoots, um, you know, film point and shoots for pretty much as long as I can remember. So I, yeah, I was amazed at the quality. So I got into SLR photography. Of course, I around you know 2004, I, uh, the digital SLRs were becoming more and more mainstream. But you know, I was in high school; I couldn't really afford a digital SLR. So I went ahead and decided I wanted to get into Nikon because I knew that their lenses, um, even really old lenses that I could buy really cheap, would fit the digital SLR when I got it. You know, sometime in the future. So I got into Nikon. I bought. Um, film SLR and Icon and FM2 and yeah I used this for basically up until last year a solid you know, five years um, of heavy use I my first lens was of course a 50 millimeter uh, an f1.4 I bought it used I bought all these lenses used actually and they're all manual focus um, and I took it from there, you know, every couple of months I saved up and I bought myself a new, old, cheap lens. Um, I think one of the second ones I got was, let me see, I think I got the fisheye after that. Um, I got this at a really good deal, it was about $160 on b &H. it was used on, yeah, I've gotten some pretty good results from this lens, it, you know, it's pretty good. Let's see, after that I think I got... A longer lens. I got a 135 um, f 2.8 lens for portraits and just for kind of telephoto use. And it's also pretty good. It's pretty fast. 2.8. Most people don't really have this fast of a lens at this focal length. After I think I got, um, I think, I'm not sure. I think I, it's either the 105 or the 180. Um, the 180 I also bought used, you know, it's f2.8, it's manual focused, and yeah, this is a really, really good lens, I got a good deal on it, the 105 is f2.5, this is one of my favorite lenses for portraits, it just has, you know, great, great results, very consistent, um, somewhere along the line I bought this $20, uh, I don't even know what brand it is, it's a Cambron ultra wide 20 millimeter lens, it's f2.8 and it's sort of a love-hate relationship it was really cheap so I can't complain um, but at f2.8 the quality is really bad it, it has like a soft focus effect so you can really only use it f5.6 or smaller aperture and but yeah it works you know it does what it's supposed to do I guess and then most recently I bought a 35 millimeter f1.4 lens this is one that I had wanted for a long time and yeah it's pretty good it's really fast and it works really great on DSLRs on, on the DX factor uh, what is it the DX format because it's basically equivalent to a 50 millimeter so yeah I have nothing but prime lenses um, I don't know it's just one of those things I think because I get them so cheap because they're manual focus and you know I don't have any zoom lenses yet I would like to eventually especially a, you know wide angle zoom or ultra wide angle zoom but that's about it and I have I did end up getting a digital SLR it's a D40X so yeah that's basically it um, a couple months ago I bought a slick tripod it's a 700DX it's a pretty solid tripod it's kind of heavy but it's pretty good. It has it comes with a case, so that's what I used to carry it around. And it's a really good tripod. I bought this tripod because 
you know, I always looked for the future. I knew that one day I would buy a large format camera because I'm just one of those film geeks and I want to be like Ansel Adams, you know. You know, the same story. So, I actually recently bought a large format camera. It's a Wisner technical field camera. It's 4x5 film. And, yeah, it's pretty amazing. Solid. And I only have one lens for it. It's a 90mm f6.8 lens. But... It's pretty good. The quality is amazing. It's, you know, digital can't touch it. <laughs>